Hello friends, this video on data handling part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now you might ask that what would happen if the frequency is very high because here the example that I had taken when I said that the entry for apple is repeated 5 times, the entry for mango is repeated just once. So these are smaller numbers so we can very easily count them but let's say that if a particular entry gets repeated maybe 30 40 times or maybe 500 600 times so do you think that it would be feasible to count how many times that entry gets repeated not really because again that that would become a tedious task that would again become a difficult task but our aim is to simplify the task our aim is to simplify the entire data so that it can be easily interpreted so what will we do so here we introduce a new concept of tally marks. Now what, are, what is tally mark? So tally marks are nothing but uh, the, it, it's a symbolic representation of the frequency of each entry. Now this symbolic representation will help us it will make our job a little easier to make the frequency distribution table. So let's see how do I mean how do we make use of tally marks? Now in tally marks what we do is we keep the same frequency distribution table just that we introduce an additional column of tally marks and in this tally marks the frequency which we had written as 5, 3, 3, 1 and so on instead of writing them in numbers what we do we just keep drawing lines whenever we come across the same entry and there is a specific pattern in which we draw these lines. So let's say that we start counting how many times apple occurs. So first time, second time, third time, fourth time. Now when it is fifth time, we cross it. And again we sixth time, seventh time, eighth time, ninth time and again tenth time we cross it. And that is how we make the tally marks. Now looking at this, so while you are counting the frequency for each entry, these tally marks are the one which you keep drawing so that you do not forget even if it is some 50, 60 times. Now later when you want to fill this column of frequency, what you do? This entire thing would mean 5. Again, this entire thing would mean 5. This thing would mean 3. So this is basically 5 plus 5 plus 3. That is 13. So 13 would be the frequency. So the concept of tally marks is basically uh, that when you count the frequency, when you count how many times a particular entry gets repeated. Now, if it is 3, 4 or 5, it's pretty easy. But if it goes, if it becomes larger, if it goes to 20, 30 or so on, in that case, counting it in hand is little difficult. So that is where you make, the, you draw these tally marks and then later you can count the tally marks and then you can enter the frequency for that particular entry. So in this way tally marks can make our job of counting the frequency a little easier and simpler. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.